Well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today there's a few things we're going to do. Uh, so first we're going to go through where I'm at so far. So the city and the resources I currently have. Uh, so we'll let's start with that. So currently this is the city. I had to do this because I ran out of space. Uh, but in this video, we're going to make a lot more space available. I'm thinking of getting these six uh, piece of land right here and moving my farms up here and using this area as uh, entertainment as these buildings here will go here. Uh, so we'll do that. Click on some of these stuff in. Okay, so let's see. First off, we've got the VIP thing here, which is great. I've got eight hours left. Uh, so every time I get one, I usually try to use it because I get these extra resources available. Uh, because I now have two warehouses, I get plus two instead of plus one with each warehouse, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, so resources here, I've got 65,458 of population. I can go up to 66,077. So I definitely want to increase that number uh, because I want to build more factories. Uh, so here we go, let's get rid of that. I found as well that uh, the residential area, you really don't need that much because see right now, like if I use, if I take these, I'll be at the maximum. So you, you accumulate quite a bit. So there's no point of getting too much residential. What's important is getting a lot of entertainment to be able to increase the population and also uh, get as much fact, as many factories as possible uh, to increase your revenue as well. Uh, so we'll take this little thing here, take the reward. So next next one is almost three hours. Uh, currently I'm doing this one here to get the 6,000 uh, coins. There's a bed being produced right now. Okay, so storage. Where am I at so far? I don't have anything here. I did upgrade this storage to have more space available, um, which is also included this one here. So there's more space. And then this one, this one as well, where I can put in some residential buildings. So this is what I've got so far in my storage here for the uh, resources. Uh, so this little toolbox saves you an hour when you're building construction or doing an upgrade. Uh, this one saves you 20 minutes. This one saves you six hours. And these are all other resources you can potentially use. So I really like this one here. So for the overtime, so for example, if I wanted to not wait six hours for the bed, I can just use one of those and finish it right away. But since the bed is not on a timer that I have to do it right away, I don't see the point of like using my overtime because it's not a rush. Uh, this things here I like to use completely. I've used quite a bit, so it increases the amount of friends you've got, so you can collaborate a little bit more. Uh, these ones here, don't really see the point of using them right now, but eventually I will. Uh, this will help me right now in this video to be able to save on the sixth piece of land that I purchased to be sure that I get a 50% discount on the, on that last one. Um, so there you go, so these resources here as well. Uh, I see six bulldozers here so I can actually buy the land, finish it right away so I don't have to wait. So I can do that six times. So we'll definitely do that in this video. Uh, also in this video, I'll try to buy a one more factory. Not 100% sure which one. I'm thinking chemical plant, but we'll see. And I will try to use one of these. Uh, so we'll get a 15% discount. Uh, depends how much money is left over after I purchase the land. Because every time you buy one, the next one is more expensive, the next one is more expensive, and so on. I have got $1.5 million or a million coins right now. Uh, so I should have enough to get all six. Uh, but I'm hoping I get enough to do all six and also one more factory. So we'll see what happens. There's also these resources here. It's usually like different events and stuff. I've picked up a few. Uh, these are very useful as well. The modules, uh, these little metal things. Actually, we'll use one of those right now. So you'll be able to see. And then these resources here. So as you can tell, there's quite a few resources I've accumulated. All right. Um, also, the commercial port, I'm there now, but I can't use it. So the next step is gathering these uh, steel parts. Um, it's it's near impossible. Like I've got, I'm halfway there, um, and 
example, I've got three hours left to get all of this done to get this prize. I've probably put in a good 40 hours of play and I'm, already, and I'm only at 15 of the still plates or still parts or whatever. Um, so I think it's a scam. I think you're, you're not really going to get this big prize because it's, damn, it's, it's near impossible because I've put in so many hours and it's not like when these become available, actually we'll see it now, hopefully I get one, it's not like these become available that you get one every single time. Like you can like click all of these, I've got a lot of these and uh, you don't really get, it takes maybe like 10 tries in order to get it or something. It's really like, like I said, I put in like more than 40 hours and it's still not enough. Like I still did not manage to finish it. I've got three hours left. Uh, today is Friday, September 27th. I'm actually off work today. Um, so I'm going to be playing for the next three hours to see if I can actually finish uh, that commercial port with the three hours, like within the three hours and a half, three and a half hours. Um, I don't think that's happening. So let's, let's see what happens. Okay, let's see if I get any. I'm hoping I do because this is getting annoying. There you go. Nothing. I've got all of these donut things, not a single still part, and you'll do that like 10 times before you even get one. Uh, so it's kind of annoying. And then you can, of course, go here and buy them. But I've got 39 city credits, and it would cost 150 to get it. Um, and I've said in the game that I'm not using real money. I'm only using the resources within the game. So I'm definitely not doing this. Uh, if there was one left or two left, I'd probably use the city credits I have accumulated so far. Um, but with 15 left, uh, let's see what happens in the next three hours. Uh, so hopefully I get it, but I don't think so. Like for example, the Eiffel Tower, time's up, didn't get the big prize. And I'm right here right now. So there's four of these remaining. Um, oftentimes you would send gifts to friends and they would send you a gift back. And some oftentimes it's not even this, but this is what I need, right? Um, it really depends what's available. So if you go to friends here and let's see, click on a random one and you see I'm just going to give you a gift. The uh, gift here is this. It's not one that I need, right? Any of these. So even if the friends wanted to help you, they can't. That's not the one that's available right now. So, I mean, it's really difficult. But I will finish the Eiffel Tower. I will finish all of this. I really want the Eiffel Tower to be finished. All right, uh, so here we go. Let's gather some of these resources. Uh, all morning as well, I've been trying to play and uh, it says my, it says internet wasn't working. So you click here, see now it's working, which is great. But for the f a good two hours, it wasn't working. It says to check your internet connection. My internet's fine. So it's the server, server was down this morning. Uh, so right now I'm just looking to see what's the next thing. So gingerbread and motor world is being produced right now, which is good. Um, so the reason I, I do these here, it's not to be number one, uh, because like it's near impossible. I don't have enough uh, factories yet. Um, it's to get on the list, because when you get on the list, you get resources. And I'll show you one right now that I'm going to be using. So I just if you get on the list, you get a silver. Of course, if you're number one, you get some of these. I've, I've done well in the, in the past. Uh, but if you if you get on the list, you get the silver. Once you have enough silver, you can use it. I like to use it for this because my building upgrades are free when I do that. So there you go. Click on that. That's gone. And when I go to my storage, to this one here, it's usually the first one. Yeah, right here. So I've got one of them. So now I can, my next building upgrade will be free. So I can do it right now. Uh, let's see which one needs to be upgraded. This one here. I'm not going to do it because it's only 90,000. Um, but like, yeah, let's see if it was an upgrade. It's quite expensive. Um, I would use that for sure. Like this one here, for example, is 190. So that I would consider it for sure for this one. Uh, but I want to build the next factory and see how much is the upgrade on the next factory. But as I said, right now we're going to do the expansion. We're going to buy six pieces of land and hopefully have enough money. So right now it's one, 147, and I want to use the discount 50% on the last one that we're going to do. So you buy that, money goes down, it's going to take you 16 hours, but then you go to your 
storage. You're like, I don't want to wait 16 hours. So use a bulldozer and it's complete. Boom, done. Next one, 152,000. All right, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. And that's done. This one again, 157 again, that's pretty good. Okay, use one of those again, and that's done. And then you get achievements as well, so then you can go here and be like, all right, I like these achievements. So you get, uh, let's see, 30,000 30, coins and five of these, which helps you get some of these. So that's 634. And we're going to take the reward, and we're going to go back here, 639. So we increased it a little bit, which is good. Okay, so now let's expand again. I said I was going to buy six, so there you go. One more there, and we're going to use that. And then one more there. We're going to use that again. And for the last one, what we're going to do is save which we're going to use this one here to save 50%. Uh, so let's see, purchase decrease by 50%, use that. That way I go here, it's 86,000 on the last one. So let's go and buy that. And let's also use the last bulldozer. Boom, that's done. So now I've got this entire space here, so I'm going to be playing around to move these factories, these farms up here. And I'll, I'll play around to move all of this entertainment stuff uh, right here somewhere, or just reorganize the entire thing. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely reorganize the entire thing. Uh, but at least now I've got this whole area. It's all going to be factories. So from the top here, all of this, all the way to the bottom here, it's all going to be factories, uh, which is good. So that's a nice little upgrade there. Cost quite a bit, almost, well, actually more than half the money. And then we got this little resource here. It's 9,000 coins. Helps a little bit. Okay. So I was just saying earlier, I have uh, two warehouses now, which is good. So for example, I've got this one here, which is at the level or six, going to seven. The next upgrade would cost a million coins. And then I've got this one here, currently at level six. The next upgrade would be, sorry, the other, the other one's at seven. Next upgrade to eight. This one's at six. Next upgrade to seven. So the next upgrade to seven is 600,000 coins could do that now, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I will eventually do that. So my, what I'm going to try to do is do to, uh, to the same levels for this, where the next upgrade is a million coin. And then th this one here, I'm going to upgrade to the same level. And what I'm thinking is getting a third warehouse after that. That way uh, I'll have a lot more resources because what happens is when you get a new warehouse, the first upgrade is 15,000. The next upgrade is like 40 or something. So it's much cheaper to do that. But eventually, of course, I'm going to upgrade them to the maximum, which is 15. It's just going to cost a fortune. Later on in the game, I'm assuming that, um, like I'm assuming it's just, you're going to have a lot more resources in the game. I'm just still new. Level 39, so I'm still considered uh, very new cons compared to others. So there you go, get these resources going. As we're talking, all these factories are offline. Um, there's a reason for that. I just want to reorganize everything and get uh, and start fresh, basically. Uh, so the next thing, so I wanted to do, I wanted to upgrade the garage because if I'm getting new factories, I'm definitely going to need more trucks. Uh, so right now we're going to upgrade that. Got toss uh, 288k. So there you go. Got to wait 28 hours. We're not going to wait. We're going to do something else today to do this. Um, and then here, what else we're going to do? I did want to buy a new factory. Okay, so I got enough resources. So which factory are we building? Technically, we should be building the next one, uh, which is the toy factory. And then you do the food plant, and then you do the chemical plant. Um, but since I definitely want all of them, so what I'm going to do, I will build this one here. But I did say that I want to save money on it. So 100,000, 180,000. Um, let's save 10% on that one that and use it go to the shop and the toy factory is 162 now so there you go so this one's on sale so I'm gonna do that and then the toy factory is gonna be built right here for now I'm gonna move things around but uh, for now it's gonna go here and it's good my power is getting quite full uh, let's see here so I, got, I should be okay for the next factory but the thing is, 
uh, the reason I was increasing my population is to see if I can increase the factories, like by two, basically, um, because I need a 51,000 of population to build the next one, which is a toy factory now. And I'm just curious to see how much I'm going to need for the next one. I hope I'm okay right now because that's what I was trying to do. So if I go shop and just click on random one, I need 61,300. And I know I'm there, 65, right? So I can actually build another factory. So let's do that now. And let's also save money on that one. So let's save, uh, let's say, 15% discount on that one. And I'm going to go with the chemical plant. I could do the food plant. Um, food plant or chemical plant? That's a good question. So actually, chemical plant would make me broke pretty much. 272, 283 right now. This one's 185, so at least it gives me a little buffer. So let's do the food plant. So we're going to do that. And we're going to do this. And it's going to go here for now. We're going to move things around, like I said. So there you go. So we've got 88,000 coins. And I had 1.5 million coins earlier. But we did quite a lot of upgrade. Like, this was pretty good. Um, and we put these two new factories and more uh, resources here, more trucks coming. So it should be able to get to 1 million, 1.5 million again quite fast, faster than before anyway. Um, so right now what I wanted to do is use a hammer. So basically it will let you instantly complete the construction of every building in the city. Uh, I've done it before. It in includes the upgrades and they say these would belong by great tour. So let's see. Let's use that. By using that it should, well it will finish the construction of this one right away. So instead of waiting 18 hours, you get it right now. Instead of waiting 12 hours, you get this one right now. And instead of waiting almost 28 hours for this one, you get it right away. So let's do that now. Boom. Done. See, they're all done right now. Factories are ready to go. These are ready to go as well. And I'm just going to see what kind of resources I need for the toys. I need regular trucks, which is good. And for this one, I do need regular trucks as well. So because I still have a bit of resources here, what I'm going to do is use them up. So they're only $2,000 or 2,000 coins, which is good. Let's see, here you go. One, two, three, four, and I think I have one more. No, I used up the five, so it was five. I wasn't counting properly. There you go, 65. The next upgrade is 320,000. So there you go. But now I've got more than enough trucks, for now anyway, 37 trucks. So I should be able to run all these factories. So now I've got to figure out, okay, well, the puzzle. I need paper and paint, so i got to produce that. And the food, I need to produce these in order to get this. So uh, ideally, I would like factories similar to this one, where it doesn't need anything else to produce the thing. I feel that increases your, your revenue much faster. Uh, so the next factory, uh, it will likely be another mine or likely another farm. We'll see about that. But let's have a look to see how much population I'm going to need for the next factory. 72, 300. So clearly, I'm going to need more entertainment, and I'm also going to need more electricity. Because right now, I'm at the maximum for electricity. Yeah, very, very close. So, what I'm going to do is upgrade some of these later on. And then once I get 55 coins, I'm going to get one more of these. So, basically, if not coins, sorry, a city credit. So, it's 39 right now. I've been using my city credits to buy only these things here to, for extra power. That's what I'm doing. Everybody else can do their, their own thing. But for me, all the city credits I accumulate are being spent for more of those little uh, turbines. Like all of this, all of that, perfect. Get more resources. There you go. And then you collect all of that. Quite a bit. And there you go. So all that is collected. So now I'll be able to rearrange things, start up my factories again, and boost my income back to above a million. Uh, so that's the goal for now. So, uh, so this is where I'm at. Um, it's going very well. I've done quite a bit of upgrade, and uh, to be honest, getting a second warehouse, upgrading it, and be able to put this many product in the warehouse is completely game, like it's a complete game changer. Um, so 
if you can get a second warehouse, definitely do so. Upgrade them as much as possible because having more products helps you plan better. I did that because the commercial ports I'll have access to soon, but I've noticed I can also store products while I'm waiting for other things to be available. So I can, like for example, this thing here, I needed certain products available once I'm able to build a bed. So I need to do like store products in order to get ready, basically. Um, so I, I, I found that works really well. And also, as, as you can tell right now, there's a couple of mango, there's a couple of bananas and coconut. I found some things, uh, the people walking around like this, they're like, oh, let's let's build some coconut uh, flakes or something, was it called? Coconut flakes, yeah. Let's build some of those, and you don't have coconuts. So right now, I'm just waiting for that little guy walking around saying, hey, like this stuff here, for example, or whatever. And then it says to build it, and if you don't have the resources, you're still waiting for your terminal to bring it then you can't really, you're missing out on those resources. Uh, so basically, I like to keep some of these in here so that I can get ready uh, once I get this little uh, guy walking around and trying to do a contract for that, and I'll, I'll have resources, I'll have them available. Uh, same thing for limestone. Once I'm ready to upgrade some of the buildings, I'll need limestone and, and granite. Um, so I'll be able to store some in my warehouses. I won't be... Um, like it won't take up too much space considering that I have a lot now. So there you go. So anyway, this is where I'm at so far. This is the city and I'll keep expanding and expanding. Uh, so for now, I'll rearrange everything today and in the next video, you'll see the factories all on this side. You'll see entertainment all on this side and I'll likely move around the residential area. All right, well, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.